Hi, Aries. I know I'm already shuffling because your card came out like three times in all the other cardinal readings. I think it came out in every single one. So like, I think Aries is like, why didn't you just do my reading first? So I didn't have to bother you through all the other readings. No, I think your energy is just very strong this month, especially going into the new year. You guys are pumped. Page of Pentacles in reverse. So um, Aries still dealing with that earth sign, huh? Who's being even more of an ass now? Cool. That's, that's a cool story. So uh, yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse. This person's driving you nuts. But just like out of their like complete mediocrity. Not even like, they're not even doing anything. They're just... They're just doing it to drive you nuts. Like, it's almost like you can tell that it's just for you. Just to confuse you or make you feel like you got the whole world. You got nothing or you got the whole world. Both these cards came up in the Gemini reading in relation to an earth sign. I'm freaking. This person is making you feel like so. Okay, let's look here. Let me show you. This person is making you feel like you are on an emotional seesaw. Obviously. 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 And yet, there is hope. Enormous amounts of hope. Enormous amounts of hope. Look. Whatever in your life has kept you stuck here, the door is now opening for something much, much more for a whole new cycle to begin. But it really does depend, Aries, on how willing you are to get unstuck from this particular... This is a seesaw. But I hesitate to call it a seesaw because both ends are sad. But on one end this person makes you feel like it's all your fault. And on the other end, you're just regretful because they make you feel like it just didn't work out. But on neither end is there any responsibility on their part for how much they've confused you and, and messed with your perception of the world. They may not, this Capricorn or just an earth sign, may not an earth sign who's definitely not being them better, their best selves, okay? They may not realize how seamlessly they're doing this, how they never take responsibility. See, because this person feels responsible for those cups being spilled. They're sad about it to the point where they feel like, you know, they should have been able to stop it. And this person is all by themselves and obviously in the midst of all those thoughts, you know, invading them and weighing down on them. In the same posture in both the cards, this sort of hunched over sadness. And the pivot for this hunched over sadness, you know, of being feeling so bad that you feel sad inside about yourself, right? This being brought on by this uh, earth sign in reverse who's playing just so many head games but I think they're playing just as many games with themselves because they're trying to fend off what for them would be such a great situation they would stand to gain the whole world from you but instead there being this mischievous earth sign energy where there's constant um need to confuse you, but then to sit back and kind of watch it like a game when you react, uh, when you jump from foot to foot in terms of 
uh, oh my God, I'm really sad. I have no real connections to people. It's all my fault. I'm a bad person to, oh my God, how did that person, um, how did I let this happen? How did I let this happen to me? I'm not a bad person. They're a bad person. How did I let this happen to me? And the vacillating back and forth between these two thought processes is may seem very genuine to you. May You may very much feel like, no, but this is how I feel. I know I feel this way because I've thought it through in X, Y, and Z ways. And, and, and it is legitimate. Both these things are legitimate. No, they're not. You just can't see straight. They're not legitimate. You just can't see straight. This person has done such a great job of making you feel like you're upside down and they're right side up. You get it? They're the ones who are upside down. You know, you're ma they're making you feel like you're a bad person and you hate them and you're making them feel like a bad They hate you. <laughs> they despise you. That's why they're doing this to you. Sorry, but like, look at this. Like with someone who has the world and the lovers and the six of cups and all these great things that are just, you know, waiting to be had, just waiting in the wings to, you know, manifest and be there for you. And this, you know, this hurtful, deceitful energy is keeping you stuck in this, you know, cycle of confusion and pain and self-hate and self-blame and gaslighting and all of this. And then, you know, holds this carrot out as like, you know, this is the stick, this is the carrot. But what I'm saying is, is that this is illusory. They're making you feel like, oh, this is just temporary. I don't really mean this. This is just what I need to do to you, but I'm going to give you the world. Right? Very abusive. But this is what's not real. This is not love. This is not connection. This is someone who is just consistently and constantly messing with your mind to the point where you're taking their relentlessness, their insistence as love. And it's not. It's not about that. And you're beginning to really see through Perhaps the depth of misery has made you finally get gain that clarity and you can see that this is this is illusory. They don't mean this at all. There's no way to pass this exam. They keep setting this up as a test for you and one day you're going to be so confused that you're going to get the right answer. But this exam doesn't have a right answer. There's no way that you can actually make yourself upside down. There's no way you can make yourself right side up. You're not upside down. You see, if the basic premise that someone has you working off of is false, then they're always going to win. And the basic premise that's being followed here is that you're confused. You're wrong. They're not doing anything. They're just sitting here. You're the one who's vacillating back and forth emotionally. You're the, they're not doing anything to anyone. What's going on? If this ain't the card for gaslighting, with these cards, I mean, and then the thing that they're holding out that isn't real, you know, that would be your prize, is in fact actually a very real thing that you stand to gain. And you will gain it very, very quickly once you walk away from this debacle here and move boldly into some new bright future. A future of traveling, a future of fun, a future of meeting people, a future of falling in love, a future of having real connections with someone who isn't consistently trying to make you feel lacking. Someone that you could, you know, seriously marry. You see? Someone you could seriously marry. And I wouldn't be surprised if you met this person while you were away somewhere. Yeah, this is a card of travel. This is a card of travel, right? A card of soulmate connection. The lover's card, sandwiched by all this travel. Card of marriage. Another card of marriage. Another card of connection. You see? 
But it's so hard to believe in this when it's not right in front of your face all the time. It's almost as if believing that this could be true is more painful than the reality of living like this. Mm. The reality of living in a situation where you are constantly being lied to and constantly being confused on purpose and your feelings are being hurt. Somehow, if that is better, then the dreamed up reality that may not be true, but this is not a dreamed up reality. This is what you have to understand. This is just what this person has made you think with their own subtleties, with their earth sign subtle behavior. This is, this is not the only reality. This is very possible. This is not an impossibility. Happiness and connection and, and, and you know, expanding the mind and going out there and meeting people and, 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 and having the world at your feet. None of this is closed to you. All of this is open to you. You deserve all of this. And yet this person has made you feel like none of that even exists for real. You should just stay with the bullshit that I'm doing because none of that is real. You're not going to find that out there. You're not going to find anything better than this. Listen, uh, Aries, anything is better than this. Where's the giving? Where's the life? Where's the reciprocity? Where's, where's anything? Where's the reciprocity? There's nothing. Oh, oh, fantastic. So with this earth sign, just know now that the level of deceit is to the point where you just need to leave this alone because as soon as you walk away from this and really celebrate your life, you will find that, you know, amorphous kind of nebulous love that you've always been looking for that's so intense and it's always there for you and it's overflowing and it's dynamic and it's deep and meaningful and, you know, it's active and it travels and it does things, it will be there for you. but for real, instead of how this person is not really there for you. You realize that the reason this person has to play so many games with you is because they're not really there for you. Anyone who was really there for you would not have to do this to you to keep you in a certain space, Aries. They wouldn't. Anyone who really cared about you would never let you pivot back and forth like this. They wouldn't want to see you like this ever. They would never want to see you like that. All right, so we'll pull more cards for definitely this Three of Cups in the Extended, and we'll do the Soulmate cards, and then we'll pull a whole new group of cards for going into 2018 and how that looks. All right, Aries. I love you guys. I'll see you in January. The Extendeds will be up on the 5th. Bye.